Hey everyone, Joel Lance here, and today we're in Santa Clara, basically San Jose, California, here outside Chung Dam, yes, Chung Dam, which is a Korean restaurant. In fact, it's supposed to be one of the best Korean restaurants in California. Actually, I've heard it is the best by a Korean friend I have here. So, today we are going to have the full Korean experience, guys. They have Korean barbecue, they have delicious looking entrees, they have quality, quality meats, they have steaks, they have short ribs, and like this place just looks absolutely amazing. So we're gonna go on in, guys, we're gonna order everything we need. We're gonna order maybe the whole menu. I'm just, I'm gonna say, what do I need to experience this place? Like I said, guys, some of the best Korean food in all of America, and seriously, apparently the best in all of California. So we're gonna go and have some fun. This place really emphasizes just good quality ingredients, honesty, transparency, and uh, the place gets packed so we're here right at opening hour so let's go on in let's have some fun let's eat some food guys um place been here like five or six years i've known about this for a couple years now and i'm so excited to finally be here to give this a shot so that's it i'm excited guys korean barbecue korean food um so yeah like like i said you got to see the, the quality of these meats you got to see everything so let's go eat some food all right everyone so here i am with all the food it looks absolutely delicious i got to add um so Basically, again, I was just like, hey, we need the experience. So we got some of the appetizers. We had an entree, which again, really, I guess, just signifies this place. And then, of course, we can't go without the barbecue. Everybody, look at this. Oh, here, I'll show you this side, guys. Here we have some of their delicious, delicious looking, an amazing quality looking short rib. This is apparently what you need to get when you come here as a first starter, and I can see why. So what I have in front of me, I have the braised black cod. Yes, braised black cod. It's made with chili. We got some daigon radish in there, some tofu. It looks absolutely delicious. I have the galbi tang short rib stew. So again, I love short rib, guys. If you can't tell, there's lots of delicious rib here, guys. So this looks delicious. The beef looks tender. We have some little like peppers and different items in there. So excited to try that. And then I have their signature seafood pancake. Yeah, so not really sure what to expect, but I know it's like shrimp. Um, I believe there's mussels in there. There's some kind of noodles. It's fried. It's supposed to be crispy. It looks delicious. Um, so yeah, so they'll give that a go. And then um, in front of me, I have so many of these different like sauces. I have um, kimchi and uh, fish cakes and pickled onions and jalapenos Whoa. and crab and just like garlic, yam. I have so many different nice sides, additions. Um, kind of, again, some more onions, radish here. We got lettuce leaves to mix everything up. So that's kind of it. We got all these different flavors. So guys, I'm so excited. This looks absolutely fantastic. So uh, basically, let's just get started and let's get eating. So the way this actually works, like with the meats, like my uh, prime short rib here, is they're gonna come and cook it on this grill right here whenever I want them to. So for now, I'm just gonna kind of move it to the side and we'll kind of focus on the entrees which we have here already, which looks delicious. Um, where I'm going to start, I'm probably going to start, I'll start with the appetizer. So again, we have the seafood pancake. I don't really know what to expect. I tell you, this definitely looks really, really heavy, really kind of rich, but I get a real seafood scent from it, guys. Got some green onions in there. I think it's going to be kind of like a, maybe like a fish cake, but... Wow. Woo! Okay. It reminds me of a fish cake, super seafood flavor, the crispy noodles. They have this little sauce, which they call right here. They call it seafood pancake sauce or syrup. So I'll put that on it. Mm. Nice bit of acidity. This is super, super, super rich. The seafood pancake is really, like I said, super, super rich. Not bad. Um, but like I tell you, that is, that is going to be satiating. It's, it's a really nice crisp fry. Not bad. It's a, a very interesting dish. I like it. I think it's a good like appetizer to share with a bunch of people though. This would fill you up. And I think what I like best is I, with this addition of the um, syrup on it or the seafood pancake sauce. But nice crisp. I like when you get the pieces of the shrimp, the seafood. Really good texture, but that is, a, that is a heavy, heavy dish. I ain't playing around that. Like I said, that was so heavy. Maybe I'll grab a, some of these like pickled uh, onions and radish. 
Mmm, jalapeno. Mmm, ooh. That is just what I needed, guys. Mmm, cut that oil a little bit. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Very delicious. Also, some kimchi. I said I got all kinds of items here in front of me. So. Mmm. Ooh, that is a good kimchi. This is um, cold crab, guys. Wow. There's some chili paste on that. Mmm. Damn. That is delicious. Mm. I'm gonna try this black cod, which looks absolutely fantastic. It has this like chili sauce on it. It's super, super, super meaty. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, guys, that is uh that is a bite right there. So tender. That just like, you know, per beautiful pieces of cod, guys. Mm, it's just so, mm. it's just like, it's a butter. It's basically like fish butter in the best way possible. I'll try the sauce and there's some chilies in it. Mmm, woo, a little bit of sweetness. It really absorbs the flavors of that fish, that seafood. Maybe I'll try this tofu with it also. Nice piece of tofu, which like, believe it or not, mmm, it sound funny but it's such a soft tofu. And this fish, guys, this freaking cod, that is a, we got little bones in it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -mm. That is like a 10 out of 10. I can't believe I'm praising cod so much and tofu, but it is so good. But, mm, I gotta keep moving on. This is absolutely fantastic though. This is definitely a must try, but let's try this. Um, freaking delicious looking stew. All right, so coming to this stew, I don't know if I should eat with chopsticks or a spoon, but I will uh, definitely dive into it, guys. This looks awesome. Let me try this broth. Mmm. Mmm. Bone marrow broth. Try this short rib. There's some noodles in there, and just this super soft, guys. Look at this beef. Just rips. Mmm. 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 Ooh. Beautiful short rib. This is, I don't know, this is a date maybe? Mmm. A sweet date. Pepper. The bite with that short rib, that date, a little bit of vegetable. Mmm. And that broth. Guys, this is like perfect. It is rich. Try the little jalapeno. Mmm. Yeah, yeah. Mmm. Rich. And savory. You can tell that has been those bones have been simmering in there for so long. That is just like wow. So, I mean, I've pretty much gone through this. There's like a couple of noodles left, but a little bit of beef. Obviously, obviously we got all the bones in here. Mm. But I think it's time to kick on this barbecue. So let's hit them up and press this call button. Ooh, there we go. Ding dong. So uh, now I'm excited to get a start on this, guys. Let's try all this. It looks fantastic, so let's get rocking. Okay, and here we go. So we got our lovely server. So I came, I pressed the call button. She came on in. And then, see, we got like our uh, setup right here. But then we have literally just the grill. It is, you can, I hear it starting to sizzle. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hear that sizzle, guys. And just look at those meats. That looks awesome. So we have the uh, marinated. This is the uh, swan galbi. Um, so we're talking like lightly marinated with salt, some sugar, at least some garlic, and then just the uh, plain prime short rib, which is again the recommendation for your first time. And then I got a piece of the black pork belly. I asked her to just cook it all at once, load it on up. Just look at that sizzle. Look at that, everybody. I am pumped. And look at the freaking marbling. This, this is something I can't get over. Marbling on these short ribs, guys. This is just like wow. Let's talk about wow. So we'll let her do her thing and we'll be back momentarily.
This looks so, 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 so good. Guys, I can't believe the way this looks, guys. This is just, oh my gosh. Like, this prime short rib, it is just so fatty. It's so well marbled. They recommended I mix, take these uh, lettuce leaves, make little wraps, so that's what I'm gonna do. Put a piece of this lovely marbled prime short rib in there. I'll start with the non-marinated, then we're gonna go to the uh, marinated, which is the uh, the Suwon Galbi. And then, I also, like I said, I also have the, the uh, pork belly to try. Um, but yeah, guys, so there's these large grain salt and a, a soy uh, or sesame oil, which they recommended. So I'm gonna put some of that on the uh, on the lettuce wrap with the uh, beef, and uh, I'm just gonna take a bite. Mm. Woo! Oh my god! Mind blown! Praise Jesus! Hallelujah, guys! Oh my god! Oh my god! Mm. Wow! Oh wait. I'm gonna try a small bite just by itself. Look at this. Just pull apart. Mmm. You get to taste that grill. Delicious flavoring on it. That rosemary, they have a little rosemary on it. Taste that? Okay. Alright, alright. Now to, 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 to summarize and talk about that bite. Okay. Guys, this prime short rib is so juicy. It is so fatty, it's so succulent, and not fatty, like, in, in a bad way. It just, like, melts in your mouth, guys. This is so succulent. Wow, that is just phenomenal. They also have this bone piece here, for those that kind of want to get a little messy and suck on that. Mm. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, guys. It is caramelized. Mmm. Oh my gosh, that fat just melt in your mouth, guys. Oh my god, savor you, mommy. That is the, literally probably the best short rib I've ever, ever, ever had. Wow, and that's just a normal one. We still got the Galbi. What is undoubtedly delicious, guys, is, so I like the lettuce wrap. I love this short rib, but the key with this prime one, guys, it just makes it a, just absolutely stand out, is putting bits of this salt, this large grain sea salt, and that sesame oil on there, that just takes it from like delicious to absolutely next level. Mmm. Oh my god. Guys, every bite. Mmm. Mmm. That salty, that richness. Wow. I'm gonna grab a piece of this kimchi here. Some of these onions and radish chew, radish salad. Complete reset on the palate. And then, if you do that with each bite, every time you take a bite of this beef, it's gonna be like a brand new like bite or experience. Which is just, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this guy's just like, oh, and these pickled, uh, pickled, uh, mm, pickled radish jalapenos. Man, life changing. Hot damn, guys, like, this just, I don't even know. Like, I can't even describe it. Just the juiciness and, and fattiness of that beef is just so, so, so good. That was phenomenal. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my gosh. I could eat that all freaking day, but we got round two, everybody. So I'm just as excited for this. Again, this one is the lightly marinated Suwon Galbi. So this again looks delicious. You can tell a little bit more that there's like a little bit of that sugar, salt, garlic in it. It smells fantastic. Woo! <clears throat> again, super juicy, super tender. This is like the second one. They said so. I had to try the prime short rib. If it's your first time here, or this one, got that fatty bone bite. Mm. Oh man, so rich. I'm gonna try the uh, same thing with the taco. So like I said, this already has some salt on it. It's really, really sweet. Mm. I take that back. It's not really sweet, but 
having any bit of sweetness with that garlic and that really rich fatty meat is just an absolute game changer. I'm gonna try this, this is a mint leaf right here, I'm gonna grab a, a lettuce leaf. Let's try this in a, uh, in a, in a, 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 a lettuce, lettuce wrap, like we did all the other ones. So I'm doubling up two pieces of meat. I'm gonna try this with that, with that uh, a little bit more of that salt. I have a very salt forward palate. And I think it just like, it is a game changer. It was addition on the first one. I could add all of this, but this is so perfect as is. Let's give, give that a, let's give that bite a go. Mmm, mmm, oh my God. Oh my God. Guys, beef will never be the same. Holy short rib. Wow. Guys. Fantastic. Like I said, I'm gonna grab some of these pickled vegetables. Totally cleanses the palate. And you're just ready for round two. This beef, guys, this freaking short rib is definitely the star. And again, I'll try it with just the uh, heavy grain salt. Let's see how this one compares. Mm. Oh my gosh, yes! Oh, guys, ooh, man! Man, then it's damn good. Just the flavors, there's that richness. The biggest difference again between this and the plain one is it's a little bit of garlic, a little bit of sweetness. Man, it is so good. They're both super, super rich. I mean, look at this, guys, just cooked perfectly. Let's see if I can show that. Cooked perfectly, medium rare. Just an absolute game changer. I will say though, I actually really like the lettuce, the lettuce wrap, lettuce leaf. We saw that heavy grain salt again, a very salt forward palate. I think if you like only a little bit of salt, the uh, you won't need to add this a little bit. But man, it just salt on beef with that fattiness just takes to the next level. And this is such a large grain, it just adds just texture. Mm. Helps grind the fat out. Love it. Like I said, everybody, this is just pure perfection. And after every bite, I've been grabbing some of the different salads and kimchi. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, a little bit of sesame oil. Words cannot describe. That is phenomenal. Amazing. Guys, the short rib, 100%. All right, next, you got the black pork belly, they call it, like from I guess black pork, I don't know, but we'll try it, I'll get a little bit of seasoning on here, we'll try it just by itself, mm. very soft, nice and fatty, very rich porky flavor, I'm going to try it on my, my last lettuce wrap with that heavy grain salt, that has been my favorite, and I think something that just takes everything to the next level, one thing I will say, is don't get me wrong the pork belly it's very good and I know if you like again looking for a rich pork flavor mm. oh yeah Ooh. Mm. great combo it definitely satisfies that but guys those short rib the short rib is where it at it's good pork belly but that short rib just outshines it if I had this first, I would have been like, you know, definitely even more blown away by it. But man. Mm. Alright, everybody. I mean, that's pretty much that. I mean, I got all these nice additions, all you look more about that. I gotta say, this has changed Korean food for me. Like, the idea of Korean barbecue, just the quality of the meats is just exceptional. Channel Chan, bar none. These like additions are just fantastic. Cool. I have a flavor. I love it. Love the textures, the crunches. Right over there. It is like crazy to think we basically have, like 
two courses. We had the first entrees and the barbecue. So let's talk about the first entrees because I got totally blown away with the barbecue. Um, wow, just wow. All right, so the first entrees, guys, um, the seafood pancake was really cool. If you like a really rich kind of crab cake or a fish cake, you like a fish cake kind of thing, I think you really enjoy it. I loved, loved, loved that black cod. The black cod, just a little bit of um, seasonings, of the flavors, a little bit like chili, the textures of that tofu, that black cod in there was delicious. Loved that. Loved it. The, um, the short rib stew was really good as well. I gotta say though, guys, when we, when we hit the barbecue, I was just blown away, and that's where my favorites come in. Um, definitely my favorite today, guys, is actually the prime short rib. Yes, the prime short rib, which is the one without the um, the gall, the little bit of like the salt, sugar, and garlic on it. Just because I am a absolute meat and beef lover, and when I just had like the like just that was perfect the short rib was absolutely perfect with a little bit of salt all you need is beef and salt now it was absolutely fantastic with the uh, the galbi the uh, the light marinade you know with the sugar the salt and the garlic it was a great addition but for me it just like it was it was it was it just wasn't needed i loved it i loved both but i would choose the prime i gotta say guys this has been just a great experience um i have no complaints this has been a long time I wanted to come here. I heard this was awesome, and it exceeded my expectations. That short rib, everybody. Life-changing. Life-changing. But, with that, everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, until next time, stay happy the hungry, happy eating, and um, that's about it. Have a lovely day, have a lovely life. If you're in the area, stop on by. You won't be disappointed, especially. Oh my god, those freaking short ribs, guys. Amazing. Prime rib. Prime short ribs. So that's about it, guys. I appreciate you. Hope you enjoyed today's dining experience. Let me down below. And uh, let's just, yeah, just, yeah, this rocks. This rocks. Let me know your favorite. Until next time, have a lovely day. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.